Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is our fourth update since voting kicked off 16 hours ago. Let me give a quick of the developments within the last six hours. Closing of the polling stations. As mentioned in our earlier update, we extended the voting process in a number of polling stations due to earlier issues which were later resolved. We can confirm that by 10 p.m. last night, majority of the polling stations had closed before 6 p.m., having faced slight delays. A number of polling stations in Embakazi West, South Imenti, Nyandarua, Baringo, and Trukana were still voting, telling and transmission of results. Ladies and gentlemen, Telling of the results started across majority of the polling stations before 6 p.m. yesterday. We have been facing some delays in the display of the results. We have been assured by our technical staff that the display will now be updated regularly. We are receiving results from the polling stations on a steady basis without any issues, and the presiding officers are facing minimum network issues. We wish to assure all Kenyans the integrity of the results as announced at the polling stations, and the presiding officers are currently transmitting the scanned results from Form 34A from polling stations, which will in turn be projected onto the public results portal. Display of presidential results. The commission has held consultations with agents of political parties on the display of presidential results. We believe that by displaying the results, we have been doing, we have been doing well to enhance transparency and accountability in the electoral process, consistent with the commitment that the commission has made to the Kenyan people. The current approach of displaying the presidential result is based on the Court of Appeal decision on resort management, we wish to remind you that the Commission already made a policy decision that in the event of a discrepancy between the text result as currently displayed at the National Talent Center and those transmitted through the prescribed form, the form shall be the basis of the final result. The prescribed form shall be available to the public as required by law. In order to enhance transparency in the process, the Commission has agreed to allow, to allow presidential candidates special access to the form for purposes of their own verification. In conclusion, we are cognizant of the anxiety associated with the tallying process, and our staff are working tirelessly to transmit the results as soon as they, announce, they, are, they are announced in various electoral areas. We continue to urge Kenyans to be patient as we work on the accounting, tallying, and announcement of results. We expect the results to continue streaming in tonight and tomorrow. Thank you. Um, are there any questions? Thank you. My name is Dennis Okari from NTV. Uh, you've pointed out a technical issue uh, with regards to the delay of the refreshing from the portal of the presidential results. Um, is, it, is this a back-end issue, or can you define these technicalities? And moving forward, are you promising that they will periodically refresh, or are we going to still experience more technical delays going into data and tomorrow? Thank you. We'll take another question. My name is Boniface Mongera. My question is, what's the main difference between disputed votes and rejected votes? Thank you. What's the difference between disputed vote and rejected vote? Yes. 
Uh, with regards to the technical hitch that uh, uh, mentioned, technical hitch, the issue was, um, the, it was not a back-end issue. The back-end process uh, uh, is okay. In fact, the kits have been uh, pushing in a lot of uh, data. So far, we are talking about 28,000 polling stations uh, reporting. So at that time, there was too much data uh, from, uh, from the field. But the front end, I think, was what we see uh, as, as a deep display was the issue. And that's what the team has been trying to find out how best to uh, quickly interface between the back end and the front end. And uh, there's a, a tool they call a refresher tool. So it's something that they've been able to fix to some extent. So we're going to see much more of the uh, refresh. And knowing that it's happening, uh, 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 most of it online, so we are comfortable that with the time, uh, that will be an, an issue. However, we should also point out that if you look at our data uh, on uh, 3G coverage, about 30,000 polling stations with 3G, 3G coverage, with 28,000, we are closer to that mark of 3G coverage. So what we expect uh, in the next one hour, two hours or so, is that most of the information that might be coming in will be, be coming in as a result of the text uh, uh, data that we are receiving, which may not be accompanied by the form, but that form will still be available uh, online when the presiding officer moves uh, to the polling uh, station. And it might also take a little longer because it's the same time that we expect that those who are not able to transmit to move to the tiling center or the place where there's a network to be able now to transmit um, the results. So our assumption, uh, we are make, uh, the assumption we're making now is that most of these results are coming in, they're coming in from places where we have very strong network uh, around 3G or, or, or 3G or 4G, and we expect as we get in the next phase, uh, that might be uh, slightly slower, but still, uh, able to ensure that we have the results at the end of the day. On the difference between rejected votes and disputed votes, rejected votes are rejected votes. They are not counted as, or they are not allocated to any candidate. But when it comes to disputed votes, it is a vote or a ballot which people who are counting may not necessarily agree in terms of how to treat that particular ballot but the presiding officer will have to make the final decision on that particular uh, ballot. Hence, it becomes disputed, but it's also allocated uh, to candidates based on the decision of the presiding officer. So, technical. <laughs> okay. okay, we'll take two more. Yes, please. Yeah, John Girashu from the Daily Nation. We are informed that uh, in your meeting with uh, the agents that uh, there are some who wanted the public display and transmission stopped. What was your, was that an issue brought up and what was your response to that? And, and on what basis are the results that we are seeing? Do you have the images scanned using the KIMS or are these from the text messages you might have received? Yeah. And uh, O'Brien? KBC. Uh, two questions. Um, from, from, from the figures that we are seeing on the screen, it's clear that about 50% uh, of, uh, uh, of, 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 of votes uh, have already been counted. I want to find out from you, from your estimation, when are, we like, when are you likely to announce the decisive winner of this contest, bearing in mind that uh, you, know, you, 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 have a legal, you have a legal space of about seven days from now? And uh, the second question, uh, do you have political parties, a section of political uh, 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 parties that are disputing these uh, 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 results? And if yes, what are they saying?
Thank you. Thank you very much. On the, on the last question, maybe I'll start with that last question. We have emphasized here as commissioners that every vote counts. We will wait for all the votes before we, we finalize the process. We've also, as you are aware, the law requires that we get the form, 200, uh, the form 34 Bs from each of the returning officers before we are able to declare the results. So the declaration of the results will be based on the form 34 Bs that we'll be getting from the returning officers. And that is why we have been reminding all that the results that you see displayed, that in case that there will be cases or there might be cases in which the results that you see as displayed might be different from the results that is in the, pres in the prescribed form. And in case of inconsistencies between the two, then we will take the result in the prescribed form as the final result. Yes, we did have uh, constructive discussions with the various uh, political party uh, presidential candidate agents, as we have said in our statement. And as we said in our statement, there was a request that we halt the display of the results as they are at this point. But as a commission, we decided that uh, as part of our work, as a part of the commitment that we have made to the, to the voters and the Kenyan people, transparency and accountability are part of them. And that is why we have decided as a commission that we will continue displaying the result so that you and the media and the Kenyan people can have an opportunity to continue getting the result. And also because we believe that that is consistent with the laws that we have and the Court of Appeal uh, decision that we have before us. So we will continue doing that display. Uh, there was a, another added question there of whether we have seen, we have received any questions of inconsistencies between the results as displayed or anybody has contested. We have not yet uh, been approached by any candidate or political party or civil society actor to contest the results as displayed. And we will continue displaying them and we'll continue announcing uh, in, at the various polling stations and the constituency level the results as received from the various uh, presiding officers and returning officers. Thank you. Okay, we'll see in the morning. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, good night. All right, that was a press conference finally from the IEBC almost four hours after we were expecting. In just a moment, I'll cross over to Trevor. But just to recap what they said, that um, they were updating us on the fact that they were indeed facing delays in the displaying of the results. Uh, the IEBC officials did clarify that they did have a meeting with party agents to discuss this issue. But despite those delays, they made the decision to continue displaying those results in order to be transparent. They are, of course, provisional. The results will keep changing. And they mentioned, uh, as they have done so before, in the event of a discrepancy between the text form and the um, actual form, um, the final result will be from the form rather than the text. And uh, also, we expect to hear from them once more in the morning. And the IBC officials did say that uh, they must wait for all the results, all the votes to be counted before finalizing uh, the process. They need all the returned Form 34B 